Hey guys, now let me talk to you about what we have here. Now this here is a 1990 Superjet, 650, and this right here is a GP1200 engine. That's a 1200cc engine. Which is bigger and better than cubic inch. <laughs> yeah, so we're putting this, this thing in here and uh, we got the custom bed plates made for it, so we got most of it all done. We're just uh, getting some more exhaust piping done. It's got a cut up GP1200 water box in the front. We're running three and a half inch exhaust pipe out the whole ski, and so that's the same as what it came with. Hi guys. And, a light. Uh, yeah. We uh, ripped out all the guts out of the hood so that it would fit with this engine in there. Um, we chopped up the fuel tank a little bit to uh, make it smaller so that it, it fits in there. And, uh, and not much left to do. It should be done uh, good. They do. I have mentioned the water box a few times. So I'm going to grab the camera. Let's take a look at that. Hopefully I don't make too many noises on the camera. Cause that's clank really and clank. But anyways, you can see down in there the water box. Yeah, looks uh, like he did use some really fun stuff on there. That's right. And then here's the exit for the exhaust, that pink yep. tube. This, we went with the 80s because it's a 80s or 90s ski. You know, that, I don't know why. And I see the other end of the exhaust there. It just isn't hooked up to anything, but that's probably what you're working on. Yeah. And so we got the uh, R&D intake manifold that rotates the carb, so there's not this linkage here that I think before it was going to get caught on something. I didn't want to have this set up so that, like, it would get stuck open while you're riding it. And so All right. I'll put that on there just to make it... How was it to fit this pipe? Yeah. Or did it just, like... Well... Did it just got... drop in? Like, you didn't have to clear oh, anything? Pipe, oh, the, this pipe... Is you know getting it in to ski is fine. It's just routing it around to the front. Right. Well, like on the 1100 swap, we had to um, you we meaning you had to modify the hole so it would fit. And it was like a couple of little support ribs I sanded down in there. Um, I'm gonna make like a little, do a little bit of like mods to the pipe to make it fit a little better. But it's not no welding or nothing. It's just making a little plate that's a little skinnier but yeah not 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 gonna be too hard really so yeah we got most of it done and I just gotta finish welding up the fuel tank and uh, should be pretty close almost done yep and I can't wait to see this go head to head versus the 1100 swap well this thing is gonna smoke the 1100 swap so hard it's interesting uh, it seems like most people feel like that 1100 engine is better and I don't really know why and maybe you know why I don't know but I can tell you that either way this 1200 is better than that 1100 engine um, yeah all the racer guys use the Kawasaki 1100s and um, yeah. I don't know I, I feel like I've heard that people say that they're better than the Yamaha engines but I don't know if that's actually true. Yeah, I wonder if it has something to do with the uh, the internal, how the uh, two-stroke porting flows on them or something. I don't know, but these Yamaha triples are just the exact same thing as the 701 and 760s with another cylinder on them. Yeah. And the Kawasaki ones are something else, but whatever. Yeah, well, it's... I can, like, just pan us around without doing the clickety-clackety, shakety-shakety. So they can look around. And there's obviously a good Hot Wheels collection there, because, you know... That's right. We were all kids once. Came with the cabinet. Uh, yeah. And then I, and then here's, like, the, the, the parts uh, the parts pile. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. I, I bought some parts to build that engine, and then I was opening the box to the second piston, and it was box wrong and it wasn't for that engine so I had to stop working on it and that's yeah. why I got a mess right there because yeah, here's happy. the thing you got to clean your stuff up you don't want your buddies seeing your messes you don't want you don't want your buddies seeing your crap when it's all dirty clean it up man you don't want your buddies seeing that yep I guess that pretty much wrap it up eh 
that's about it. You know, you stay tuned for this thing and. Uh, yeah, we got more projects coming, more crazy stuff happening in 2019. Yep, and tell us what you think, as long as it's interesting. No, even if it's stupid, comment below. Yeah, because YouTube likes it when there's comments on the videos. <laughs> if, if you even think of anything to say, anything, like the guy who's talking in the video looks like a, a leprechaun. A leprechaun. Put that down there. Or how about the guy in the video looks kind of like Cletus McFarlane? I don't know who that is. But, um, yeah. So, hey, you could also say the guy in the video is a pretty handsome guy. He looks like a really good guy. I would want... You know, I'd want him hanging out with my kids, and, you know, I think he'd be a good influence on them. Well, yeah, you, know, you can put that in the comments, too. Well, uh, how old are their kids? Well, I guess if you're assuming the person that's watching this is, like, in their 40, 50s or whatever, and their kids are going to be, like, 18, 19, I don't, I don't know. Well, you know, playing with, like, cell phones and crap and not doing any cool stuff with their lives. Okay, well... I don't know what that has to do with it. I don't either, but I can tell you that the age group that watches this stuff is between 18 and... It's either 35 or 40. How in the world would you even be able to know that? What? They have that stuff on the YouTube analytics. I mean, there's a few, like... My computer doesn't know how old I am. Yeah, whatever. It knows I'm a guy, though, because it's always showing me, like... Actually, I have an app on Ah, never mind. Should we keep yeah, get going? The heck out of here. Do you really want that on the video? Well, sorry, movie's over. <laughs>